Welcome to a short tutorial on how to benchmark your CPU with Cinebench R23. This is an updated version of the popular Cinebench R20 benchmark, for which we also have a tutorial linked in the info cards. The very first thing you obviously want to do is download Cinebench R23. The easiest way is to go through the Maxon website. It is also linked in the description of this video. And then you simply download the 250MB zip file for either Mac or Windows. Another convenient alternative is the Microsoft Store or App Store from Apple, as shown on the screen. After launching Cinebench R23 for the very first time, you will be prompted with a software license agreement, which you will of course accept. Now you can reap the full power of Cinebench R23. The first thing I would advise you to do is go to File in the upper left hand corner and select Advanced Benchmark. This will then enable two more options for testing your CPU. It's a 10 minute and a 30 minute test for system stability and against thermal throttling. You can also select the number of CPU threads that are being used by Cinebench and then it's finally off to the races with either multi-core or single core. Even though you will do a single core run, you will most definitely rely on the multi-core results. The rendering of the famous image is now being done by your CPU. The process you are seeing is sped up of course, in case you were wondering. My total score for my i7-4790K is 5077 points, it is slightly overclocked. You can also see other popular CPUs within Cinebench, however the list is not very comprehensive. Therefore I would advise you to check online for results of other users with the same CPU and see if you are in the right ballpark. Like in the R20 video, CPU Monkey has proven to be a somewhat reliable source. My CPU scores roughly 4930 points on CPU Monkey, which seems alright for a stock 4790K. It should also be mentioned that the scores of Cinebench R20 and Cinebench R23 are not comparable, despite the same image being rendered. Usually the scores of the newest version are at least twice as high as in the old version. So this is how you use Cinebench R23 in a nutshell and interpret the results. Like this video if you liked it, comment with your score and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.